In this brief overview, we'll walk you through the steps needed to machine threads into your part. And before we go any further, huge shout out to NYC CNC and John Saunders, who have several in-depth videos on this topic. You can find links to them in the description below. In order to set up the cam for thread milling, you'll need two important numbers. The thread pitch, which is straightforward and you'll take right from the fastener that you're using. In this case, it's an M8 by 1.25 millimeter, so 1.25 millimeters is our pitch. The other number is our pitch diameter offset. Every machine screw has a major and minor diameter, marking the respective crest and root of the threads. The reason why you can't just blindly input these numbers is because the tools we use for thread milling don't always come to a fine point. They're rounded off. The calculator takes this into account and spits back out a pitch diameter offset. Again, more info on this in John's video. So here are the Cliff's notes to thread milling using the NYC CNC spreadsheet. Download the thread milling calculator from NYC CNC. On the second tab, there's a simple calculator for internal threads. Model your hole in Fusion and add the threads to the model using the thread tool and select the appropriate size. Fusion will then model the hole according to the minor diameter. Enter the major and minor diameters into the calculator. Major is our given number, eight millimeters. Minor is also a number given from Fusion. Now enter the thread mill diameter, which can be found on the manufacturer's website, along with the flat or crest. We're actually going to use a double angle shank cutter from Harvey that's ground to a fine point, but there will still be some flat, so we'll enter in one thousandth of an inch to start. Finally, we'll add a thread mill toolpath, select our tool, apply our speeds and feeds, and enter those two important numbers, thread pitch and the pitch diameter offset from the calculator. If at first the thread is too tight, you can increase that offset number by a couple thousandths of an inch at a time until your threads fit perfectly. Happy threading, and be sure to check out John's video for more of an in-depth explanation. 